My name is Shigeo Ijuin. I perform tortures to settle other people's grudges. Basically, I work as a torture sommelier. Torture is amazing. There's no other method that works so well as a punishment and makes people reflect on their sins. Of course, in many cases, people die when they introspect. I know all about the different torturing methods around the world. Rukawa-kun, do we have any clients? Not yet. This is my skilled torturing assistant, Rukawa-kun. My purpose in life is to face torture head-on. Oh, but don't get any wrong ideas. I don't torture people left and right without a purpose. Once I receive a request for revenge from a client, I make sure for myself whether or not that individual is a piece of trash that has no right to continue living in this world before I start any form of torture. That's the last form of sanity I have left. Fraud. Murder. Arson. There are millions of people in this world that hurt others for their own pleasure. Come on, let me do my job so I can get rid of these scum quickly. Oh, we just received a request from a client. Finally. Hmm, let me see. It seems we have received the request we've been waiting for through an online method. The anonymous requester has apparently been brainwashed by a female fortune teller who ended up ruining her life. They tricked her into paying almost 120 million yen in a span of two years. I've never seen a victim lose this much money. Rukawa-kun, send a response right away. The fortune teller, who had taken advantage of the victim's loneliness after her husband's death, got the victim to develop a dependency on her. The victim has used all of her husband's life insurance and even worked at brothels to make money to pay for the fortune teller. The client, who had earned a lot of money, was eventually unable to pay taxes. Eventually, the IRS raided her home. Paying your taxes is your responsibility as a citizen. I'm sorry. It seems her brainwashed mind was cleared after she realized the stupidity of it all. The problem was brought all the way to court. But there was no evidence to prove the fraud, and thus the fortune teller was able to get away with all of it. Please, she needs to get the consequences she deserves. Rukawa-kun, get your hands on the court records to find out the identity of this woman and do an investigation. Yes, sir. A fortune teller who was supposed to lead the path to a better life instead took advantage of the situation for her own personal benefit and destroyed her customer's life. What a piece of trash! Let me give this woman a gift in the name of torture! The fortune teller continued living her life as usual. She's a beauty. I guess that's what helps her trick people. She robs people of their money and ruins their life in the process. What kind of fortune teller is that? After receiving the report from Rukawa-kun, I visited the fortune teller myself, under the guise of a broken heart. Thank you for seeing me. I'll decide for myself whether you're a true scumbag that needs to be tortured. After three days of visiting this woman, she finally showed me her true colors. I see here that you will be unlucky if you possess a large amount of money. If you give it to me instead, luck will definitely come your way. You said the same thing to this woman in the picture, didn't you? This woman seems like she's a devil that can't be saved. Rukawa-kun? A modified stun gun set to high power knocked the woman out with a single shot. I brought the fortune teller into my dungeon. Finally. Seems like you're awake now. What's happening? Explain yourself! Oh, well, you were able to get away from the law. So I'm going to perform the right form of punishment instead. Hey you, how many people have you tricked so far? You're doing it all for money? Tricked? That's not true. I'm only saving people. They all give me their money willingly. I feel their lonely hearts, and they give me money for it. It's a win-win situation. You brainwash people, steal their money, and ruin their life. Explain how that's a win-win situation. Seems to me she's just a pathetic piece of trash with no empathy. Rukawa-kun, is everything ready? Yes, sir. We're all ready. Whoa! What are you doing? The ropes we tied around the fortune teller lifted her off the ground and into the air. The torturing method we're using today is called the Judas Cradle. Here, we have a sharply pointed metal pyramidal tip, and we're going to make her sit at the very tip of it. I'm sure you'll get goosebumps just thinking about it. S stop The moment I loosen my grip on the rope, ah! a scream echoes in the dungeons as the tip of the pyramid impales the fortune teller. That's when I begin my interrogation. Hey you, you're a wicked villain, aren't you? That's not true! I was honestly helping those people! I was those needy people's spiritual support! Hmm. If you really cared about them, would you be talking about them like that? If you're not going to admit to your mistakes, I'm going to make you sit there longer. Ah! The 
pain must be unbearably intense, as this torturing method is designed to tear your body open. The lower half of the fortune teller was stained red. Do you admit to your mistake? Yes, I was wrong. I targeted those who were lonely and emotionally broken and tricked money out of them. Please, forgive me. The extreme pain seemed to have broken the woman's resolve. But now that she admitted that she was guilty, we can move on to the main event. Then pay for your actions with pain, you piece of garbage. The fortune teller cries out again and again, as her bloody mouth, tears and snot, cover her face in a mess. The top of the pyramid began ripping at her intestines. <coughs> it seems that at last, her bones shattered under her own weight. She's dead. Rukawa-kun, time to clean this mess. Y yes sir! The tip of the pyramid strikes into the body more than you would imagine. Body weight is definitely a scary thing. The Judas Cradle was used in the past for witch hunting. With a high probability for death, it's an extremely popular torturing device. The fortune teller that destroyed the spirit and life of everyone who went before her. Mm. Sweet potatoes baked using scumbags don't taste that great. I agree. Choosing and carrying out the perfect torturing method fit for each scumbag on this planet. That's the job of a torture sommelier. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out our other videos. And please subscribe to the channel.